so I'm walking in the Komaba campus of Tokyo University and I brought this principle of neuroscience um, to um, the lab uh, from my home uh, because um, you know, I wanted to have this at the university. It's convenient to look up and uh, it's great to have them looked at by graduate students and so on. Anyway, uh, so I attended the TED conference and um, AI was a really great issue in that. And you might feel that the TED is not so much aligned with the AI alignment issue, or well, this is um, not a pun, it's an um, analysis of the status quo. And because um, you know, people who uh, gathered in the conference are not particularly, uh, you know, um, versed in the art of artificial intelligence. Of course, some of them are AI experts, but most of them are more general knowledge, you know, great judgment type executives and business leaders and, and uh, so on from all walks of life. So in that sense, uh, the TED conference was not so sharply aligned with AI alignment. But I think that what actually made the conference great because at the end of the day, when you want to align uh, artificial intelligence, you need to do that in the broader context of uh, people, society, and um, for the lack of better words, ecological system that we find around us. That's the way to go. And uh, that's the only place we would be able to praise the artificial intelligence systems and embed it. Actually, the embodiment of artificial intelligence systems is the alignment issue itself. When the artificial intelligence systems are to be embodied, they need to be uh, so uh, d- little bit to be so done so uh, within the context of society and various peoples, and that is embodiment. So you know, embodiment is not just about hands and legs and bodies, and that's all those are uh, important issues. Embodiment is really about the context, and the reason why people are fearing that there might be some issues about artificial intelligence is that uh, you know it might not be uh, really you know possible to allow uh, and use them in a robust and safe way and they're basically fearing that uh, AGI might be not be able to you know embody it within society uh, so for example this a discussion, a set of discussion where people argue that uh, giving AI an ability to, by the way, this is an artwork and I love it. I think it's brilliant in the Komaba campus. There's argument that the giving uh, AI to, giving AI to the ability to auto correct and auto improve its codes and um, reading the internet and uh, writing out the internet is a terrible idea. Uh, it's precisely about embodiment, you know, how uh, M- AI can be embodied or cannot be embodied. And if it's embodied, what effects it would have. So AI yeah, alignment is embodiment. And, you know, in that respect, uh, I think, by the way, this is uh, Kyohyaku One Kyohist uh, lecture room number 900. And that's where uh, Mishima Yukio, Yukio Mishima, the great novelist actually gave a very famous lecture to the students in this university. Anyway, uh, so I think in that sense, uh, the TED conference this year was a great achievement in that they tried to really embody artificial intelligence. And that was great. And now I'm going to give my lecture in this building here on creative science and AI.